On behalf of the President of the United States and the United States Armed Forces of this great nation, please accept the flag with some of your loved ones, honorable and faithful service. I would like to salute you with honor, duty, and respect now. We come to a time that's arguably very difficult and challenging when we put a family member to rest. But I have to say is it was an honor to be able to meet Mr. Boatwright. Getting to know Lieutenant Colonel Boatwright was just as much of an honor. And being here with you today as well as in the funeral home. I believe in Ecclesiastes, it does speak to what is going on today and all go to one place, all are from the dust, all return to the dust. But it also continues further in Ecclesiastes and says, dust returned to the earth as it was and the spirit returned to God who gave it. I know that as I met Mr. Boatwright, his faith was real. He wasn't afraid of sharing it. He was open and confident but I also believe something he would tell other service members as well as family. It's something that I, I found after the previous service. It says, Dear Lord, picture him saying it. The battle is over for me. My mission to fight is finished. And my time on earth is over. 
guide me home to you, Lord. But watch over my brothers and sisters still in the heat of battle. Protect them, Lord, body and soul. Amen. And if it please your will, deliver them safely to their loved ones until it's their time to join you in heaven. Amen. Amen. I believe that he would say that to family members as well as service members, understanding that it is an honor to be here, certainly to pay respects and certainly last comments to do with this gentleman. Four Purple Hearts, I already said I'd run after the first one. You wouldn't get a second shot at me, I'd, I'd be going the other way. He showed some things that showed character that I believe all military especially need to be honored for, and that makes this even more of an honor to be here. A soldier is many things, steady, solid, and strong. Optimistic, outstanding, and organized. Loyal, logical, and level-headed. Diligent, decisive, and disciplined. Intelligent, idealistic, and when necessary, immovable. Earnest, effective, and efficient. Rational, resourceful, and resolute. Yes, a soldier is many things, but above all these admirable qualities, the soldier is a hero. As shared before, he served his country by serving his family. Because his family was everybody that he protected, everybody that he fought for, everybody that he served after being in the military service. This man showed a character and a strength and a resolve. He had faith. He knew what was going to happen. He wasn't rushing it but he's fully prepared. He would rejoice with you in knowing that he no longer is trapped. He's no longer held down, no longer has any challenge or issue to face, but instead looking at that life, not by appearance only, but by those things that were real, the things that he did, he said, and he has been. Celebrate him. As you go forward, remember him in the days that come. I know I will. It'll be a long, long time before I forget being involved with him and having met the family behind him and hearing the stories and hearing of the man, the man that I never really got to meet. It is a historic moment, one when a soldier, a hero, a relative, a friend is laid to rest in a place such as this to honor all those who went before him and those who will go after him. Take care, love one another, and in so doing, show your love and respect for him. May we pray. Father, we thank you that you have taken all away from this man. Not one illness, not one ache or pain does he have any longer. And the memories that he has left behind that legacy that as a teenager, his mother wanted him to leave, he has fulfilled. Let him have that hero's rest today. Let him be in that place, held high and certainly with much respect, with all those who fought battles, who died, some in battle, some after the fact. But now we ask you to be with family. Allow them to see a joy with the blue skies, the billowy white clouds, that they might feel the breeze blowing through, that they'd know his presence as part of their lives will never end, that you would be glorified, you'd be honored and praised, and all of it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, so thank you all for coming.
Um, again, we will open the floor to anyone if they want to share any memories, but we have 10 minutes. <laughs> so, just, just so you know. And also, um, we are going to go eat lunch when we're done here. Um, I think we're going to Golden Corral, which I understand is about five miles from here. So, thank you. <coughs> Georgia, but I used to live in Waynesburg, and there was a special guy. He had, I had uh, two children that there was just taking love and love and love and love, and when they had ball games, there would come and see them boys play ball. He said, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I said, okay, Dan, well, you don't have to. He said, no, they're my boys. I'm going to see them. But you know, everybody is not like Dan. Dan is Dan was very special yes. with me and my family, my boy, because I was a divorcee. So you know, it, I just get up to heaven when Dan got sick. It just hurt me to my heart to know he was sick. But I'm glad that you know he didn't suffer long. He was a very special person. Does anyone else have anything to say about Mr. Bogart? Well, right now, this concludes the service, and you may retire back to your car. Thank you.